In this lesson, we will explore the use of menus, data sets, and commands on the mainframe. Whenever you successfully log on to the mainframe, you will arrive at the ISPF primary option menu. This is the main menu of the mainframe, and from here, you can navigate to a number of other systems and utilities whilst using the mainframe. Up at the top we have our command line and that is where our cursor is currently positioned. From here you are invited to enter in one of these options. On this lesson we will be looking at data sets and to find where our data sets are we will take option number three on this menu which will bring us to the utilities sub menu. When the utility submenu appears, there are a number of options. The one that we will look at tonight is option four, which says print or display list of data sets. From there, enter four. Brings us to this panel, the data set list utility. From here, we tab our way down to the DS name level. As you can see here, there is already a name there, and that is always the case. Once you put a name into the DS name level field, it will retain that name for all access. If I press enter, this will basically list any data sets that have the name litmaster.vleguest. I will press enter. This tells me that there are three data sets that have this partial name of Litmaster VLE Guest. But clearly I didn't have to specify the COBOL, the JCL or the load lib names in the previous panel. Let's just check. There we go. So it finds any data sets that have these partial names. Here is a list of data sets. What happens in these data sets we will find out at a later stage. But the names give them away. And this data set is where our COBOL programs are kept. This one, which has the letters JCL for job control language, we will be using that. And finally, we have the load lib. These are three data sets. They were prepared for the learner, and we will learn in later lessons how to allocate these data sets ourselves. When it comes to commands, we talk about line commands, and a line command is always entered on the left hand column. For example, if I want to view this data set I enter the letter V for view that brings me into that data set and this is telling me that there is one member of this data set the member name is A010001 if I wish to view that data set again I enter a line command V for view and I'm now looking at that member which happens to be a COBOL program more on this later. F3, which are the command keys that are displayed at the bottom of every panel, brings me out of this view. Back to where I was, press F3 again, brings me back to my list of data sets. F3 again, brings me to my data set list utility panel. F3 to the sub menu. F3 brings me all the way back to the primary options menu. There's a shortcut in getting to the data set list panel and that is the shortcut of 3.4 that means take option number three on this menu which is utilities and then enter option four of the utilities menu which brings us directly into this screen here and on to where it views us the data sets we've looked at some line commands here and there are many and your tso course book will bring you through those list of commands. There are other commands called primary commands and they are entered on the primary command line. For example, exit, press enter, brings me back to the previous panel. If I press exit again, brings me yet again back to a submenu. And there are many different primary commands, which again are also listed in the TSO manual. That ends this lecture.